Hi guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a little get ready with me. Um, I'm going to a Fendi event tonight. I'm so excited to celebrate the... Let me just fix myself up. Okay, you're sitting back on there. You're on a very... What's the word? Precarious tripod. But I'm going to do the celebration of 25 years of the Fendi baguette bag. I'm so excited Fendi is dressing me for the event. I have my outfit over there. Don't mind the rubbish and the Woolies bags. But we're going to get ready. So... I'm gonna put this headband on that's just randomly sitting here very conveniently for Princess Polly. But yeah, I'm going to this event with Fendi. I'm so excited. Um, Molly and Sam are also coming. So we, it's like 1.30 now and the event's not till seven. Oh my God, that sounds crazy that I'm getting ready now. But basically we're gonna go to dinner before at five and um, I have to like drive to the event and pick all the girls up and stuff. And um, yeah, so I'm getting ready now and I also wanna make TikToks and stuff, so. I'm getting ready now, which makes more sense, even though the event is at seven. But I'm just going to do my glam with you guys and chat, and we'll answer a few questions later on. Um, but I thought we could just catch up first. So I'm going to get ready, and I'm so excited. I'm just going to do my normal, natural, not natural, my normal glam that I do. And I'm doing slick hair, so I need to make sure that I blend my makeup into my hairline. But I feel like I haven't done just like a sit down chat get ready with me in so long and they're like my favorite videos to film i have to remember not to use the phone as a mirror but someone was like please do like a catch-up video just so we can like catch up with you and just like i can just like slow down for a bit because i feel like all my videos have just been like go 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 like vlogs and just like rant such random content that was a lot on my forehead such random content so someone was like can we please just like slow it down and catch up with you and figure out where you're at mentally so yeah i just got back from the u.s it was the most amazing trip ever. Um, so we'll definitely be talking about that for the majority of this video, but basically just gonna catch up with you guys and talk you through my glam also because another thing that's been heavily requested is what products I use and um, how I do my like glam makeup. So I am gonna be talking you through not so much how I do it, but just the products I use because I'm not a makeup artist. Yes, I am putting on sunscreen, even though I'm gonna be on inside because this is the best primer. I don't care if you're I don't care if the sun's technically not out. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if you're going to an indoor event. I don't care. Whatever your reason is, put sunscreen on because it is the best primer. Um, it just makes my makeup hold and feel so good. And it's good for you. It's good for your skin. This is the ultraviolet one. This is actually the body and hand one, but it is, in my opinion, much better than the actual face one, which is really weird, but that's just my... I actually picked this up on accident um, probably like six months ago. Tried it before it was like big... And I absolutely loved it. And I didn't even realize that I picked up the body and hand until very recently, but it works really well. I have them literally laying everywhere. I have mini ones all through my bag because I took the mini ones when I went traveling. So I literally live on this stuff, could not live without it. But I'm going to start my makeup. I just got this brush from Brow Code and like fresh new brushes are so satisfying. But I think I just want to do really like natural glowy base, but then like sleek eyes. So pretty much the same thing that I always do. Just got the new Huda Beauty Pack. Well, not new, it's been out, but I have been able to get it because it's never in stock in my shade. But that is the best thing about going overseas is that the overseas shopping, like I love Australia and I'll never live anywhere else, but the literally the one downfall about Australia is just that no one really cares about us, like in terms of like, they just think we don't exist and they don't give us stock of anything. So <laughs> it was really nice to go over to America and get everything that I've been wanting, like the Dior lip oil, you can't get that here. You can't get the Huda Booty, you can't get the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, so I bought three flawless filters because one for my mum and two for me because I genuinely will use it, like it's not going to be a waste because I use it every single day. That sunscreen's just gone into my mouth, which doesn't taste the best, and you're sitting on my water bottle and I'm not about to move you. But um, America was so good, it's so weird because like I went to Europe earlier this year, so I did two big overseas trips this year. I swear this year has literally felt like it's gone for 10 years. But everyone's been asking like what was you know, what, what did you prefer, like Europe or America? And I'm like, it's so hard to say because like, I preferred my America trip. Like I had so much more fun on my America trip, which is so weird. But like Europe, for some reason, I was just like not vibing. It was my first, first overseas trip ever. And I was just like, not prepared for like the um, homesickness and, you know, jet lag, whatever. And I was just like, not really vibing. We were only there for like a week, a week and a half. And then I was like, get me the fuck home. We ended up like coming home like a week early. But America, I was like, I didn't even like America. I just was having so much fun on the trip, which is really weird. So I think I prefer, I think what, what I, the conclusion I've come to is I prefer Europe as like as a place. 
but I had so much more fun on my USA trip. And if I could redo one of them again, it would be the US because it was just like so much fun. Like going with the glasses was like, I already knew it was gonna be fun because I love glasses as a brand and I love Jackie. So I knew it was gonna be fun, but it was like 10 times more fun than I expected. Like I genuinely didn't want it to end and we still chat in the group chat like every day. And it's just like so cool to have the best team ever. I'm just gonna go in with some brow gel. This is 24 hour, oh, sorry. I just used the brow code, brow pencil. It really is the best. I think it's called like it's rubbed off, but I think it's the brow heist, I'm pretty sure. They just sent me a new one actually. Oh, Imitations Micro Brow Pencil. They just sent me a new one, which is perfect because this blue came off when I traveled. Like it broke off. I'm really reckless with my makeup. But I'm going to use a 24 hour brow setter. Ge um, what is it called? Brow gel? I always forget what this stuff's called. Brow gel. And just put that through my brows. But um, yeah, so overall the US was amazing. Um, definitely kind of like different to what I expected, but also kind of what I expected. So it's really weird. I feel like some places were a lot different to what I thought. Look how good that brow gel is, it's so slow. I mean, my brows don't really need any help to be bushy and fluffy. They've kind of already got that on their own a little too much even. So it's more just sticking them into place. There's always one brow that just doesn't want to cooperate. That brow is just like not. All right, fluffy brows are the look. But um, yeah, the US was so much fun. What else has been happening? I'm actually booking a very, 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 probably the most spontaneous thing I've done, trip to Byron next week with the gals. Um, Ava and I were just like texting and she was like, oh, how shit's this weather? And I was like, oh my God, so bad. And she was like, oh my God, look at the weather in Byron because she actually just got back from Byron. She was there with some friends and she was like, look at the weather in Byron. And I was like, oh my God. And the forecast is just like full egg yolk, like full sun and like 30 degrees for the next like two weeks. So we were like, oh my God, we should go. Like kind of joking, but kind of not. And then I am the most spontaneous person. Like the Sagittarius in me is like, I don't care. Like when Jack Harlow, his shows were sold out in Australia and I really wanted to see him. And he still had shows left in New Zealand. I called my mom and I was like, we're going to New Zealand tomorrow. And she was like, okay, cool. I booked the flights, didn't even ask why. Like I'm so spontaneous, but like not everyone's like that. So I said to her, I was like, I will. Like, I'm not kidding. Like I'll go. And she was like, I will. And I was like, fucking perfect. We were like, her also come. So we convinced some of the girls to come as well. So it's gonna be so much fun. I've convinced Sam, who's not very spontaneous, and she's like, this is stressing me out. And I'm like, it's gonna be okay, breathe. We're gonna get through it. Um, so she's coming. I'm gonna actually use the Huda Beauty powder to set my eyelids, which I haven't done before. But I'm assuming it's gonna be good because it was really good on my face. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've kind of lost my voice. Like it's a bit croaky. I don't know if that's just because like I'm a bit sick. I don't think it's from like, actually losing my voice as in like screaming or singing because I haven't been to any concerts or anything where that or festivals where that would have happened but it's really annoying it's kind of good though because I hate my normal voice so like any switch up from my normal voice is kind of a plus I really want the new Mar makeup by Mario palette it looks like to die for so I might go pop that but yeah we're, anyway we're going to Byron so exciting I've been to Byron once and it was for Splendor. So I didn't really get to experience Byron because we were more just like, like we went out for like one of the days or like both days for breakfast, but that was it. And then we went back, got ready, went to the festival, got home and slept. So I didn't really get to experience Byron at all. And when I went, I was kind of like, mm, don't really like Byron because like, I don't know, it just wasn't really that good when we went for Splendor. But then again, I didn't really get to like experience it and go out. So I can't really judge, but hopefully I have a good experience and hopefully it was good. And when, because Ava was just there, when she went with, um, Kate and like another girl, it, she made it look beautiful. So, and I, pe people say it's amazing. So I know it's going to be good, but I'm actually excited to go and like fully experience it because I didn't get to when I went to Splendor. Why is my brow doing that? See how it's going like super orange at the front. Um, yeah, so that'll be good. We're just getting a little Airbnb and I can't wait to just chase the sun because it's going to be amazing. And then that weekend, so we're going in the week and then in the, on that weekend, I have spilt milk, which is so exciting. I'm actually going with my family. We love a good festi. Um, and my sister's bringing her boyfriend and we went to Splendor together and we went together on the last day because everyone bailed. So I know he's like ride or die and he'll come with me, but um, it's only one day actually, I just realized. So no stress, we'll just force everyone to come for the one day, but I'm pretty sure the lineup's like really good. So I'm really excited for that. And that's on Saturday. So it's a busy week for me, but very exciting. I love being busy. And then 
It's actually a bit busy week this week too. It's a busy week next week because the bar has filled milk, but it's actually really busy this week too. Basically, I'll give you a little rundown. I actually am vlogging this week, so you'll see it on the vlog I'm vlogging right now. But um, today I have the Fendi event. Yesterday I had the Fendi fitting, which will be in the vlog. This morning I had Pilates, which I'm absolutely loving. Tomorrow is my really chill day because I do need to give myself little like break days. Tomorrow I'm doing absolutely nothing, which I'm really excited for. And then Thursday I fly to the Gold Coast, go to the one mile event and then fly straight home the same day. I was going to stay there, but I've got an event the next morning at 9am, nice and early. Um, it's a 35mm cold event and I'm so excited. Hopefully I can pick up a little film camera. Oh, Detective Byron and Spill Milk, that's perfect. It's going to be such a good roll of film. Um, I don't think I've ever taken this long on my eyeshadow before. I'm just kind of like chatting this is why i started this video so early because i was like i know i'm just gonna rant and talk about absolute nonsense whatever we're just gonna embrace it um that's what i'm gonna do for the eyes now actually that's a lie i'm gonna take the really light white shade and go in the inner corner this is my favorite thing to do because my eyes are quite close together so i like to kind of like elongate them and make them look really like sleek and long rather than close together if you see what I mean the white kind of like brings it out and then I'm going to do like a bit of a smoky eyeshadow wing but I'm going to do that after I do the rest of my face I'm going to do a bit of this touch of cream I don't use this every time I do my makeup it's just like randomly if I feel like it but it is really good I need to wash my beauty blender okay beauty blenders are washed and dried and now we can move on to the skin I don't know whether I want to do literally just flawless filter or I might do a bit of I might mix actually I might mix Flawless Filter and my NARS foundation because they're both really good. I do love the Flawless Filter, but I'm just like, maybe I want a tad more coverage. But I think if I do a bit of the NARS, I'm going to do like the tiniest bit. Where is she? There she is. I'm just going to do the tiniest bit of the light reflecting foundation. Oh my God, that just squirted. I hate when foundations do that. I'm so excited for tonight. I went to um the Fendi like fitting yesterday and tried on heaps of outfits. And picked my outfit, which will be in the vlog, so you guys can see, like, all the options that I went through. Because there was so many nice options. Like, one of the jumpers I literally want to go buy. And one of these, like, green tops I literally want to go buy. Because it would be so cute for summer. Um, but, literally, the Fendi girls were so lovely. So, I'm really excited for tonight to see them. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a cocktail party at one of their, like, pop-ups to celebrate. And, like, raise awareness for the pop-up and celebrate 25 years of the Fendi Baguette. Like, the Fendi Baguette is an iconic bag. So, it's kind of a really iconic event not gonna lie and apparently like people are flying from different states to come to it so it'd be exciting to see who's there but yeah we're trying to suss where to go for dinner before foundation never wants to stick right there <sighs> this part of my face it never wants to stick to it must just be like uber dry and it's like the most textured part of my face too so it's really annoying okay beautiful i'm gonna give that one more spritz now I'm going to use the Refi bronzer. It's literally the best. I swear I've nailed my base routine. Like, like even just actually my whole routine. Whereas like right now it takes me like 20 minutes to do my whole makeup. But I keep thinking it takes me like an hour. So I reserve like an hour and a half, two hours to do my makeup. And it really doesn't take me that long. But this Refi stuff is chef's kiss. I am going to do quite like a heavily bronzed contoured look why is that literally not sticking like that's white right there oh the us is so weird because like i had to pack for so many different weathers like new york was freezing like literally bone chilling like mum and i were like i can't do it like we can't do the cold we're such like hot weather people and then miami and mexico was literally like you couldn't even wear a tank top you would be sweating like you'd have to be in a bikini to not feel like sick so it was so hard to pack and also, like, we didn't know we were going to Mexico. We went to Mexico so last minute. Like, that was not in the in the itinerary when we left. We were sitting in Miami, literally looking at the map, thinking, like, where can we go? Because we we're really bad at geography. And we were like, where even, like, is near the US that we could go to? And um, so Mexico wasn't even in the itinerary. So thank God Glassons had packed all these bikinis and they let me keep them to take to Tulum. Because otherwise I would have had, like, one and it would have been, like, dirty because I already wore it in Miami. So that was, like, a godsend. But, um... It was so good. Like my um Tulum was literally like the highlight. Such an amazing place and I can't wait to go back. Okay, I went really heavy on the bronzer, so I'm just gonna pat that out a bit. Beautiful. And then this 
is the world's best combination. Let me put you onto this. I'm really excited to share it with you. So it is, let me spray. It is Rare Beauty Blush in Happy. This is such an amazing product. Just one little dab of that. And then Rare Beauty Illumina Liquid Illuminizer in the shade Enlighten. I don't really know if this shade is the best for me. I feel like it is very white. One dab of that, but I was like, I was like in a rush and I didn't know what shade to grab. Mix them up and you get the most perfect, because I feel like the Enlighten is too harsh to use on its own. The Happy Blush is perfect on its own. Like you could just use the Happy Blush on its own, but I don't really think I can use the Liquid Illuminator, Illuminator, Illuminator on its own. And then you beauty blend that into the skin. Look at that. Look at that blushy glow. It's like so gorge. Like what the frick? Blend that out a bit. Spray. Saw sure that the spray isn't too wet before you put the next product on or it kind of goes catty womp. And then this is my favorite concealer combination right now too. It's two just because like why not? I use the Kosas one and the Charlotte Tilbury one. They're both amazing. Everyone's been asking my shades, but I never know. My Kosas is 01N and my Charlotte Tilbury is 3.5 Fair. Just use both of them. I definitely do use more of the Kosas. Just I feel like it's like so hydrating, which is amazing because I feel like most concealers really dry me out. But we have like the Charlotte Tilbury is like a tiny bit lighter, so I just place that wherever. And then what I've been actually doing recently is spraying. And then kind of just like leaving the concealer to sit on my face for a bit. I know like makeup artists do this and I feel like it actually works really well. And like a lot of like beauty people on TikTok do it and recommend it. And I'm going to get my powder ready and my powder puff ready because I like to like, my powder routine is like as soon as my concealer, as soon as I've done my last blend of my concealer, the powder is on so I don't crease. I use these Trigwell Cosmetics powder puffs. Also look, I keep my nails off. If you don't follow me on any other social media, you wouldn't have seen them. But yeah, I like to use these Trigwell powder puffs, but that's like, that's like kind of nasty now. So I'm going to see if I have another one because I'm pretty sure I have two. I think I might have given the other one to Carla. I think I gave the other one to Carla. Carla, can I have it back? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, um, I don't really know what happened there. Really have to focus here, so I'm probably not going to talk. Tip of the nose concealer literally can change. Like, your whole face. It's crazy. I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm just going to have to do that with powder, not cream. Okay, so the second I'm done this area, I'm going to go in powder. I'm gonna spray my face to the absolute gods. I like to do a lot of spraying after I powder because I feel like the powder makes my face really matte and I don't want that. I want it to be quite glowy, but I really want to spritz to make sure it doesn't look too cakey. So I'm just gonna kind of keep, that'll probably be the last layer I do. Okay, while that spray is kind of settling, I think I'm gonna do my under eyeshadow. Go under my eye. I'm gonna take like a brownie shade and just, oh no, don't start leaking now. Oh, my eye's been leaking. Don't fucking leak tonight, please. Don't leak tonight. And I'm just gonna wing the shadow out like that. Anyway, I'm gonna add more white powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's amazing. The only downside is how big it is, but mom and I actually found minis when we were overseas, but I don't think they're in Australia yet. Cause mom was like going crazy for them. And I was like, relaxed. And she was like, no, you can't get them in Australia. So she was very excited because the, like, I love this bronzer and mom literally has been refusing to buy it because she's like, I refuse to buy a bronzer that big because one, by the time you get it and use it heaps of times and there's a new one out that everyone loves that so you'll probably end up buying. And two, you can't travel with it. Like it's so hard to travel with. And I was like, so fair. And then this blush, I'm gonna use the Kylie blush. I'm not really liking how my makeup's looking. It's looking really matte. Shit, not that brush looking like really matte and I want it to look really glowy. Kylie blush, this blush is so good. Like hello, pretty. I really need to um contour my nose, my nasal cavity as Leah Holton would say. I'm just like a tapered brush and just, 
Oh, a contoured nose changes everything. Look at that. Look how sleek my face looks. And I'm also just going to create like a bit of a button shape just by drawing a line at that crease there like that. Oh my God. Did you guys just see that? I just fucking hit myself in the face with the mirror. I think I want to do like a deep black in the waterline. So I'm going to, just to make it more like nighttime, a little tiny brush and some brown shadow. And I'm going to draw on, we'll draw back on this beauty spot that I have. I'm going to spray. Refi, I'm back on it. I kind of forgot it existed because it was just hiding in one of my handbags. It's in the shade Torp for everyone asking. Everyone's been asking my TikTok and I haven't been replying, not because I'm gatekeeping, but because I just didn't know until now. I'm just gonna wipe foundation off. <laughs> Look at that. I'm only gonna fill in the corners. Like that. And then I saw Tammy do this, which seems so smart. She put a dot of concealer, like the tiniest dot. And then blended that in the middle of her lips. Oh my God, I love that. Oh, Tammy, you are onto something. Okay, one last major spritz. Okay, hair, I'm sorry for the bad lighting and angle but it's what we're working with so i'm going to grab tweezers to part my hair this is the hairspray i'm using it's the caviar anti-aging working hairspray i'm just gonna hairspray the front i could do it <coughs> i do this first just because then when you start to see that i need to blend it into my hairline when you start to brush it it already kind of like forms the shape of the slick because slick is like a whole thing like it takes me a while heaps of hairspray this hairspray is like actually good for your hair it's not like they got to be where it kind of like i don't know they got to be might be good for your hair but it's just like you know it feels super like stiff this doesn't feel like this it actually apparently like kind of hydrates your hair while it's in there like it's kind of like a treatment so that's like the first bit of my slick and I'm going to tie it because now I'm going to go in and really slick it with this gel so I'll probably go back in and retie it because look at that bump it's not okay this is a Fendi event people we can't be stuffing around and I'm going to get some of that smoothing gel and just really slick it I'm also going to grab a toothbrush or like a spoolie to really slick it too because that really helps Like really move the hairs into the exact place I want them. And this is like the most crucial step. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And then I think I'm either gonna do a plait or I'm gonna straighten my ponytail. My nose won't stop running. I'm gonna go in and add some of the Laneige lip mask. I don't want a glossy lip look, but my lips feel so dry and it's making me feel sick. So this is the outfit. It's in the bag with the shoes. I'm gonna put it on and then I'll show you. I'm ready. This is the final look. I'll show you. Thanks for getting ready with me and calming my nerves. You guys would have already seen the fit all over my socials. So no point in really showing you, but I'm obsessed. I went with a bun. Just I felt like it was really sleek and cute and that way it's like fully out of my face and I don't have to worry. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I've got ready two hours early, so I'm just gonna go sit on the couch like this and watch Love Island. But I think to dinner, I'm not gonna wear this shirt because it is too risky. If I drop something on it, I will be so angry. So I'm gonna take another shirt with me and just change into this. I'm actually gonna take this off now because it's stressing me out even just wearing it now and I'm not even doing anything. But I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.